challenging myself to make the Vault Dweller jumpsuit in just 10 days, and with a con coming up, I thought what better timing. So in this video, I'll cover the hard and easy methods of pattern making that will change how you draft your patterns, how you can save time pattern drafting, and how you can easily make the Vault Dweller jumpsuit. So starting with the two methods of pattern making, the ones I'll cover is the duct tape method and using a block method. So the tape method is very easy for beginners because you just tape yourself up and draw the pattern onto your body. It doesn't take much time, but it's not as reusable as the block method if you wanted to make different patterns. Whereas the block method is quite accurate and reusable, but it does take up more time. But I would recommend doing the block pattern if you're wanting to keep a base bodice block and not have to take the measurements again or the other method of taping yourself up again to get that pattern made. And for this make, I'm going to be covering how I use my block pattern and adapt that to make the jumpsuit pattern. So starting with the bodice block and using my technical drawing from the previous video on this project, I'm going to start adapting the pattern. So looking at this technical drawing, it appears to have the raglan sleeve going across the shoulder seams on both back and front, as well as a princess seam coming from the underarm and this V section here that goes all the way down into what will be the trouser block. So we're gonna start by adapting those onto our base pattern. So we're gonna start by adding the raglan sleeves about six centimeters away from the base of the armhole on either side, just connecting it to the top of that collar. Then from the front panel, we're gonna start to mark on that V section, which we can then trace off now. So on our technical drawing and on the costume, there's the yellow front section that comes all the way down that centre front, as well as the waistband that goes all the way around. So we're going to add that on about two centimetres away from the neckline, just drawing all the way around that. And then once you get to the centre front, it's going to be two centimetres out, just going down the centre front line, and then about seven centimetres up, coming across to connect. You can change these measurements around depending on how it fits your body, but for me I'm just doing these ones. And then to finish this yellow section, I'm just going to keep it even and draw a line 7 centimeters down. This section here can be traced off, and then to finish this front section, you're going to add the 2 centimeters around the back of that neckline, which you can trace off both of these and you should be left with a pattern that looks like this. And then to finish off the waistband pattern, you want to continue that two centimeter line that goes all the way down and mark up the side seams just to make sure it's even. And then on either side, add the extra two centimeters just to create that waistband. These two sections can be traced off and stuck together and you should be left with a pattern, this shape that is cut on the fold. So now moving on to those side seams, from the front underarm, you're just gonna draw a curved line that's about seven centimeters out from that side seam and then at this midpoint you want to start to curve that into the side seam connecting those two side seams up you're going to follow that line onto the back and pulling it down then with that you're going to stick this section to the back section and this one to here and cut out all of those shapes and the shoulder seams off but keep the shoulder seams because you'll need them for the sleeve pattern. So with that, you should have pattern pieces looking like this. And then I've also done the collar pattern, which is half the length of your neckline by the height you want your collar. And then the front just curved it off and marked to be cut on the fold. So now moving on to the sleeve pattern, this one is a few less steps to do. So with those two shoulder seams that you cut off from the front and back panel, you're just going to mark them up with the center of that sleeve head. So you should get something that looks a bit like this. And from there, you're going to extend down and out from that sleeve head and then bring it back in just to finish the shape of that sleeve. You can check with the measurement of your armhole on the front and back panels just to make sure that they mark up and it will fit. So then we're gonna start by marking the details. So these are two lines that are about four centimeters in width apart and every three centimeters, you're gonna mark a horizontal line down that section. With those marked, you then want to trace that section off. So then you want to cut across the horizontal lines, spreading each section about two centimeters apart. 
And with that, you should be left with two pattern pieces that look like this. One really long one to add the box pleats in and then just your sleeve section. Now we're gonna move on to the lower half of the jumpsuit. So starting with adding the lower half of that V section that goes down the center front. What you want to do is get the pattern from earlier and line that up with the center front of your trousers. Then mark the width of that and bring it down to a curve, however low you want into that center front seam. Then you just need to cut that out and attach it to that separate panel. And to finish off that center front panel, add in as many horizontal lines as you want and spread them one centimeter apart to create space to add the running pleats that will go down it. So with that section done, you then want to split, if we go back to our technical drawing, you want to split the trousers into five sections. These are two front and two back, and then one side seam. So from this section, we're just going to draw one line down here, and the second one about four centimeters away from that side seam, just all the way down. The reason why I'm splitting them into this many sections is because it will make adding the piping detailing a lot easier as you'll just sandwich it in between the seams. And then moving on to that back panel, you want to come down that crotch seam a tiny bit and add a curve, just connecting it to the base and then same as the front, come about four centimeters out from that side seam and draw that separate line. Then to add the detailing into the side seam, you want to cut those sections out and connect them together. This will mean you have to straighten out the sides just so you get a shape that's a lot straighter but can have a bit of a curve at the top just to fit the hip shape. Then same as the other box pleats as before but make them a bit wider. I went for about five centimeters and then this was just spread once again out just to add room for the box pleats. And with that you should have your trouser patterns for the jumpsuit looking like this where you've got five all together with one being longer to add in those box pleats. And with that, you should be left with all of your pattern pieces looking like this. It's quite a long process, but definitely worth doing it because it will get you better at making and drafting patterns. But hopefully this video helps with how you can recreate the Vault Dweller jumpsuit at home. And if you're interested in seeing any more of the progress on this costume or my previous projects, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.